So today, I actually wanted to focus a little bit on digestion and immunity as they go together. Good digestion equals strong immunity. Um, so we'll do a little bit of cool stuff in that department today. And we'll also use the strap to open up our legs. So feel free to have a strap or a scarf or a necktie, anything that would be long like this. I'll sit right up near you to begin. Make sure you can see me okay. There we go. Okay. So one of the best breaths for digestion is something that we do every class, breathing into the belly. So if you want to today, you can let your hands come to your belly for a moment. And all I want you to do is breathe in and out through your nose, but allow your belly to expand on your inhales and release on your exhales. So you're welcome to close the eyelids if you want. And just send your breath down into the belly. Some people say you're filling your belly like a balloon on your inhales. Some people like to picture the big Buddha belly. Allow yourself to get comfortable with your belly expanding. Now notice how you can speed your breath up and you can also slow your breath down. See if you can invite a sense of calm on your breath, keeping the breath slow. Let's add the ujjayi sound. Contract your throat slightly so that you can hear your breath. And this simply helps you to have a little bit more control over the speed of your breath. And you might notice that your belly is filling and your rib cage and your chest is also naturally moving. That's fine, that's what we want. Let's keep this breath as we bring the hands to the knees. Gentle movement, reaching your heart forward on your inhales, reaching your heart back on your exhales. Moving at the speed of your breath, let your breath lead.
The next time that you reach your heart forward, pause here. Make little fists and place them on your thighs up close to your belly. And my fists are tilting a little bit towards my belly and I'm gonna lay my belly down and my, my uh, knuckle is kind of getting in the way of my rib cage. So I'm gonna tuck them a little bit closer so that my belly, but not my rib cage can kind of rest on my fist and you don't want to go too far okay you want this to be kind of nice not painful so i'm i'm leaning forward a little bit my fists are digging into my belly and then i'm just gonna gently move my fists around and keep breathing so it's a little massage This is really good for the large intestines, small intestines, colon. And if you wiggle the elbows, like my elbows are starting to flap a little bit, you'll feel it a little bit more on the outer edges. Yeah. And if you have inflammation in the belly, this might feel a little sore, so you can always let it be a little more gentle. Good, now we're gonna fold. Release the hands, let them come to your knees. Let your belly lay down on your thighs and bow the chest and the head. And keep sending your breath into your belly that might be touching the thighs. Maybe your hands sweep down all the way to the feet. See if you can relax a tiny bit more in the forward fold. And when you're ready, bring your hands to your knees and glide up. Gentle circles. Good, really let your rib cage create a big circle here. You might feel this a little bit more in the low belly area. Reverse. Bring your spine to center. <sighs> Open the feet wide. You might sit back in your chair a little bit. Elbows stood out to the sides, leaning forward. Again, see if you can let your belly relax. So on your inhales, it's going to drop down a little bit with gravity. Let your exhales be slow. Maybe fold another inch. You might notice as you're focusing on your belly, you're actually getting into the hips a lot here. If you'd like to, you can bring your hands down to the ground and fold the rest of the way. Let your head bow.
In this pose, you're welcome to press a little bit extra into the balls of your feet. Maybe even lift your heels off the ground a little bit. You'll feel the hips reaching towards the back of the chair a little bit more. When you're ready, bring your hands back to your knees. Let your feet come flat on the floor and rise up. <sighs> we'll inhale, hold the breath, and gently pump your navel in and out a few times. It will look like this. And then we'll exhale. Let's just take two rounds. Inhale with me, gently hold your breath and pump your belly in and out. Exhale. This also massages the heart. Let's do one more round. Good, exhale. Beautiful, come back to your normal breath. Inch your feet back together. And I'm gonna move back. We'll use the strap to open our legs. I'll mirror you today to make it a little bit easier. So walk your feet to the left so that you're sitting a little bit diagonally on your chair. And try to have that right hip up against the front of the chair. Put your right foot into the strap and hold the straps together with your hands. Glide your shoulders down the back. We haven't done any shoulder work yet. And lift your heart. Good, come back to your breath. Washing in and out through the nose, relax your jaw. Subtle ujjayi sound. And you're gently pressing your foot into the strap and you're bending your elbows, drawing the strap towards you. Hold the straps with your right hand. Start to open it out to the right. Reach your other arm away. You can look away from your foot. Passing through center. Hold the straps with your other hand, twisting. Looking away from the foot. Passing through center, open. Passing through center, twist. Press down through your sitting bones. See if you can get a little taller through your spine. See if you can glide the shoulders down a little bit more. Beautiful, bring both hands to the strap. Inch your bottom foot, your standing foot forward a little bit. And then try to bow a little bit over this extended leg. Inhale to lengthen up. Take a couple circles. Relax a little bit. Other way.
and let the leg down. Ooh, you might feel some heat, coolness, energy releasing out that right leg. Let the knee bend, take the strap off. And let's walk our feet all the way to the side, to this left side. So you're sitting sideways in the chair. Bring both hands behind you and begin to twist. Looking over the left shoulder. See if you can send your breath down into the bowl of the pelvis. On an inhale, unwind. And walk your feet all the way to center. And then over to the right. So you're sitting diagonally to the right. Let your left foot come into the strap. Holding the straps with both hands, just lift the leg up as far as comfortable. That might be here. Anywhere that feels good. Glide the shoulders down the back, lift the chest, and breathe. Press this left foot into the strap as you draw the strap towards you. You're gaining upper body strength, core strength, while opening the leg creating a little bit of heat at your center. Hold both straps together with your left hand. Open it out. Good, reach your other arm away, look away from the foot. Keep breathing, pass through center, twisting, hold the straps with your right hand. Left arm reaches away, look away from the foot. Passing through center, open. Passing through center, twist. And bring it to center. You're still sitting diagonally. Inch your bottom foot that's on the floor a little bit forward. And then maybe give a little bit of a bow over your extended leg. I'm drawing my elbows down and towards me to keep my shoulders down. But I'm kind of reaching my head a little bit towards my foot or towards where the ceiling and the wall meet. Inhale to rise up. And let your strap out a little bit. Circle the leg. Try to let the leg relax a little bit more. Other way. I can see my cat is in the middle of the road. Okay, he's crossing. Now release down to the floor. Just let it relax for a moment. The leg is straight. Some energy might move through. And bend the knee. Walk your feet the rest of the way over to the right, sitting completely sideways in the chair. 
Bring both hands to the back of your chair, twisting. Looking over that right shoulder. Really relax those sitting bones down. You might try to see if you can twist a tiny bit more. And very slowly on your inhale, allow your upper body to unwind. Rest your hands on your legs, sitting sideways. Dive inward and notice the belly. And walk your feet to center. Take your strap and open it up so that your hands are a tiny bit wider than your shoulders. Good, and reach the strap back a little bit. So there's a little back bend happening here. If you want to, you can reach your heart forward too. Maybe look down a little bit, just to keep the back of the neck straight. Good, and now gently round, bringing your hands and strap forward. Tuck the chin, reaching your heart towards the back of the chair. You might feel this in the backs of the shoulder blades. One more time, inhale, reach it up and back, reach your heart forward. You're really letting your pelvis tilt forward. On an exhale, rounding. Reach the strap over the head, open the feet wide. Let your hands open a little bit wider. Good, my toes are jutting out to the side a little bit. We're gonna lean to one side and then the other. So you're welcome to inhale to center, exhale to the side. One more to each side. Probably feeling this in a lot of different places. Bring it up to center, reach it back. Let it down. Release your strap to the back of the chair. Take your left arm and lean it on your left thigh. Let your palm face up. Reach your right arm up to the sky and reach it back. So you're, you're twisting, you're kind of rotating your heart up towards the ceiling. Chin is tough, back of the neck is long and strong, but you can kind of try to gaze towards the back wall. Inhale with me here. Now reach the hand that's in the air forward and a little bit to the left, diagonally. Yeah, feel that whole side opening. Inhale, reach it up and back. Exhale, reach it forward and to the left on the diagonal. Beautiful, one more. Reach it straight up to the sky and then over your head to the left. 
this, feel, this might feel a little different than when we normally just come into this without all that extra stuff. One more breath here. Ride your inhale up and over. Left arm reaches up and now reach it back towards the back wall. You can even try to look towards the back wall a little bit. Inhale with me. Exhale, reach it forward and to the right on the diagonal. Inhale up and back. Exhale, you're reaching it sort of in front of your right foot. Good. Reach it straight up to the sky and over your head to the right. Ride your inhale up to center. Ah, feel center. Inch your feet together. Let's come to standing. Bring your chair in front of you with the seat facing you. And then take a hold of your strap. Actually, we don't need the strap. You can leave your strap on the back of your chair. But step away from your chair and take some big arm rolls, almost like you're doing a backstroke. When that feels complete, then you can take a hold of your strap, bring it behind you. Reach the hands away from your back, stay here or fold. If you're folding, you can let your head relax down, maybe nod it yes, shake it no. Pressing into your feet, rising up. Good job. Release your strap to the back of the chair. Let's take a couple sun salutations. Bring your palms together at your heart. You're about a foot away from the seat of the chair. Inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, reaching out and down as you hinge. Let your forehead bow down. Press into the hands. Coming into a flat back jackknife pose. And walk your feet back into downward facing dog. Downward facing dog is a really powerful pose for digestion. This posture has pages and pages of benefits. You might notice how the belly massages the internal organs a little bit in this posture. 
If it's possible, tuck your chin a little bit, gazing towards your legs or at the wall behind you. On an inhale, look forward and glide your heart over your hands into plank. You might have to walk the hands forward a little bit or walk the feet back. Press strongly through your arms. Let the backs of the shoulders widen, broaden. And if you want to, let your pelvis sit down towards the chair. Lift your heart, upward facing dog. Have a little bend in the knees as you reach back into down dog. Again, can you let the head relax, gazing towards the legs or the back wall? Can you let the belly receive your breath? On your inhale, look forward, walking up into flat back, jackknife. Try to keep this length in your spine as you fold. Press into your feet, riding your inhale out and up. Exhale, arms open wide, swimming all the way to your heart. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, out and down, bowing to the chair. Straighten your arms, looking down at the chair, nice long spine. And walk back into downward facing dog. Stretching through the spine, leaning back through your sitting bones, let your head relax, gazing towards the back wall. Let your belly move with your breath. You can try to reach your inner thighs a little bit towards the back wall. On an inhale, look forward. Glide your heart over your hands. Maybe you have to widen your stance a little bit in plank. Really press through your strong arms. Let your upper back kind of reach up towards the ceiling, broadening the shoulders. And let your pelvis relax towards the chair. Lift your heart up dog. On an exhale, down dog. Relax into it again. One step at a time, walk it up into jackknife and bow it down. Press into your feet, riding your inhale out and up. Exhale, arms open wide, swimming to your heart. Today, let's bring the chair sideways on the mat so that the front legs are on the mat. The seat is facing you and you're turning sideways 
on your mat. We're preparing for triangle pose. First, let your hands come down to the seat and then step your feet nice and wide. And since you're sideways, you'll have a lot of space on your mat. Good, we've done this one a lot lately. It's really great for the inner lines of the legs. So your feet are parallel, or maybe your toes jut out a little bit farther than the heels. And lean into one knee, and then the other. Good. If you feel like having airplane wings, you can always reach the arms out to the side as you lean side to side. And let your hands come down, pausing at center. Jut your toes in more than your heels, so you're a little bit pigeon-toed. Lean a little bit back into your sitting bones. And you can always scoot your chair a tiny bit forward just so that your forearms can comfortably come down. Let your head bow down towards the seat. Inhale, lift the head. Bring your hands to the seat of the chair. Bend your knees. Heel toe your feet together. Press into your feet, rising out and up. Palms touch, bring them to your heart. Good. Now we'll come into triangle pose. So you can, I'll give you a little bit of directions here. You're gonna stand at the back of your mat and I want your chair to be on your left. So it's facing sideways. The seat is sticking out towards the center of your mat. You're standing at the back of your mat. Your chair is, is on your left here. Now, let your feet, you see my feet? Your feet are parallel at the moment. You're going to turn your left toes out a little bit at that 45 degree angle. Good, hands can be on the hips. You can bend the knees a little bit. Don't worry about the chair too much. We can always adjust the chair. Then you're going to step your right foot forward and you can inch it so that your toes line up with the um, leg here. So this is the leg that's closest to me. This is the leg that's farthest away. And I have the seat of the chair right here. Good. Okay, so we're coming into revolved triangle first. So your hands are on your hips. Your back foot is sticking out a little bit to the left. Your front foot is forward, your front knee is straight. Now start to reach your sitting bones towards the back wall. Good, bring your left hand or fingertips, I like to use my fingertips, down on the seat of the chair. Pause here. If you want to, you can look away from your chair to the right. You're gonna feel this in that right leg. Good. 
Inhale, looking at center. Rise it up. Bend into your front knee, lean back, step it back. Switch legs, bring your left foot forward, your right toes stick out a little bit to the side. Beautiful. My front toes are kind of almost touching the leg that's farthest away from me. My knee is very close to the chair here. Reach your sitting bones back as you gently fold a little bit. Good, now again, bring your left hand down to the seat. This time you're gonna to start to rotate your heart towards the wall away from the chair. You can have your right hand on your right hip. You can almost try to tuck that left hip down underneath you. You can look away from the chair towards the side wall. This is a really incredible pose for digestion. Let's take two more breaths here. See if you can slow the breath down. Slowly unwind. Try to bring your right hand to the chair, left hand to your hip, looking towards the chair. Revolved triangle. Good, bend into your front knee a tiny bit so you can rise up easily. You can always step your back foot forward. Whew, good, and release it out. Bring your chair to the other side of your mat. So you're at the back of the mat and your chair is on your right. Let your right toes jut out to the right a little bit. Lean on that right foot, step your left foot up to the chair. And then just, I want you to be able to see my feet really well. Just inch your toes forward a little bit so that they're near the leg that's farthest away from you. Good, your front knee is straight. Inhale, lengthen up through your heart. Exhale, reach your sitting bones back behind you a little bit. Bring your right fingertips to the chair. Good, and look a little bit to your left, away from the chair. If this feels like too much in your legs, you can always inch your back foot forward a little bit. Inhale, press into the feet, rise up. Bend in your front knee a tiny bit, inch your back foot forward. Yeah, and then walk to the back of your mat. Now your left foot juts out to the left a little bit, 45 degree angle. Your right foot steps forward. It's right up against the chair, the seat of the chair. You can see my toes are near that leg. Good, reach the sitting bones back, reach your heart forward over your front leg. Same hand, your right hand comes down to the chair. You might be able to let your hand be flat this time. Good, your left hand is on your left hip. Beautiful, we're coming into triangle. Start to rotate your heart away from the chair, towards the wall, away from the chair. Good, it's a twist, so your hips, are kind of, this left hip is actually kind of trying to draw down towards the floor. At the same time, your right hip is trying to tuck under a little bit. And then your heart is really twisting, rotating towards the side wall. 
Take a couple more breaths here. Relax the jaw. Nice and easy. Begin to unwind and look towards your chair. Can you bring your left hand that was on your hip to the chair? Bring your right hand to your right hip. A little bit more of a revolved triangle, yeah. And bend into your front knee, bring both hands to the hips, rise up, step your back foot forward a little bit, Whew. shake it out, good job. Reach it up. Palms touch, bring them to your heart. Before we come into Shavasana, let's chant the sound of Om, sound of unity. You can just listen or you can join in with me. Inhale for Om. Um. Honoring yourself, this practice. Let's relax and absorb everything that we've done. You can rest sitting in the chair or you can lay down. In this posture of surrender, Shavasana, let your breath completely go, no effort. Let your body breathe for itself. Allow any blockages to clear. Allow every little sound in your environment to be accepted. Allow yourself to be free and open. The belly might feel a little bit more open. Remember, that you are at peace. Remember that you are connected to every part of this universe, every star, ocean, forest, Enjoy your Shavasana.
Invite your breath to deepen. You're welcome to stay as you are as we close out, or you can make your way back to seated. Today we'll make a fist with the left hand, bringing it to the belly and covering it with the right, honoring sun and moon at the navel. Take a breath into your own personal power here. This mudra can feel very stabilizing. And honoring each other. Namaste.